I joined Science Park in 2001. That means actually I've been working here in this beautiful place for 20 years. And this is also my 20th anniversary here in the Science Park. So, 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 so I know about the Hong A, the Sai Huan Bo, and all the Hong Ba Lan Gao Bo. So, okay. so um, of course, these 20 years I got lots of experience, different work tasks and uh, lots of opportunities to excel myself. And today I'm very proud to let you know that I'm the team leader of the UN marketing team. And we work together with many signature events and also flagship events, you know, to help promote and to accelerate the um, IT ecosystem in Hong Kong. And today um, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you this city grand challenge. It's a grand challenge, okay? So before I come to this meeting, I check my record. And I know that actually already we got 37 projects from CTU students. Maybe some of you already know about this challenge, or maybe you're part of these 37 teams. Can I have your hands up? If you know about it, or if you're part of them. Yeah, great, thank you. Any other? Don't be shy, let me know. No problem, anyway, I hope I can persuade you, you know, to join this challenge in this 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Okay, City IT Grand Challenge. Actually, up to today, we have already over 16,000 enrollments recorded. So I hope after my introduction, you will be also part of us. And this challenge is uh, very different from any other challenge or any other competition in the community. It's a perfect platform, actually, for you to present your ideas to all citizens in especially to the worldwide media. Why? Because this is a uh, competition for all walks of life in Hong Kong. Primary school, secondary school, university students, and an open group. That means we welcome everyone of Hong Kong citizens to join us. And apart from the cash prize, okay, we have recognition for all the winners as well as those finalists, selected solutions. And you can also get a chance opportunity to attend some tailored made trainings and also some structured with mentorship etc and it we will pro, uh, arrange some exclusive showcase trial and adoption opportunity in the community for your solutions as well as we will extend your presence of your ideas in the int ecosystem so you say you know you can see all the benefits the takeaways the value of joining this competition so how to do it Okay. Actually, this challenge is looking for solutions for real to solve real city issues. Uh, real city issues, and you, if you look into uh, to these pictures, it's actually very familiar to all of us because actually they are, are uh, actually our daily our daily experience. Because of the pandemic, we got lots of uh, takeaways, so that means we consume lots of single use utensils. And also, I believe you all experience that there are lots of food waste, right? Maybe uh, even if you cook or you buy takeaways, you will experience that we got lots of these food waste. So we are looking for some INT solutions to tackle these issues. For example, just for example, can we, for example, uh, use some biodegradable materials? Uh, environmental friendly materials that are easy for recycling, you can think it this way. Or you can think in other ways like, can we like um, uh, think of an app to change people's behavior? Or any sanitizing device that is easy or efficient for people to wash those, uh, our forks, our spoons quickly, so you don't have to use any single-use utensils. Or, uh, of, for example, any IT system to increase the efficiency of food waste handling, like to collect them, storage, process, transportation, and then we can recycle it. These are all the INT solutions you can think of. Even you can uh, 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 create an app to record our food consumption that can encourage people to change their behavior. So these are only some examples I would like to uh, 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 mention about. But of course, I believe you all have your own creativity or your own innovativeness to think of some IT solutions to tackle these city issues for the environmental sustainability. And we have another theme this year is called the social connectivity. And you can see these two pictures is actually some is sad, right? It's unhappy because of the pandemic. 
elderly people or some people with uh, disabilities, they may not be able to reach the uh, daycare center or the, even the families, right? And because of the social distancing measures and hygiene concerns, they may have difficulty to reach the support or the network that they needed. And they become so lonely, social disconnected, even some of them can, are, not, uh, are not able to get their medical care, so that creates a big influence to the health. And for the kids, they may be, uh, you know, got no opportunity to go to library, school, or even the park, or even to play with their peers. So how might INT solutions to help these issues? Just some examples. For example, any INT device to help them, robots, AR, VR simulation, etc. Anything that you can think of. So these are the two themes for the City INT Grand Challenge that we would like to draw your creativity and your innovativeness to create some solutions to them. And here you can also see the timeline. We are now calling for applications and we will close on June 30th. That means you still have one month, that's a bit less than one month to create your solutions. So Alan, I know that today we have around 100, 100 students here and we can, you can join it individually or in a team. And a team can be in maximum five persons. And you can also at the same time join as an individual and form a team, very flexible. So I think 100 of you here, we can have at least 20 teams, right? <laughs> if I can, in like a team of five, you have 20 teams. So I hope that maybe this afternoon you can take some time to, uh, to really consider this challenge and even can form your team immediately and register first. Because actually it's easy. You just need to answer four questions, only four questions, and then you got the chance to uh, enter into this big challenge and got your ideas, you know, exposed to all Hong Kong citizens as well as the world uh, media channel. And you can see maybe a little bit uh, introduction on, after we close on June 30th, we have, have the online judging, and then we will provide a uh, special structured training to train your pitching skill, as well as to excel and uh, your solutions to get you prepared to the semi pitch. After that, we have the public voting in October, and the grand pitch will be in October, mid-October. And afterwards, the most variable uh, section is that for winning solutions or selected solutions from you, you got the real chance to get it into a prototype, and then trial, and even being adopted in the community. We have selected, you know, uh, some special uh, preparation, you know, to have uh, really a uh, sectors people and also the public sector to trial to trial your solutions and that means you can have the opportunity to make your solutions into real business when it is adopted into the community so this one is more benefits and value for you for this challenge and for the champion you got 200,000 cash prize okay and we have another 30 small prize is called the innovation prize of uh, 30,000 each. And of course, I just mentioned only to answer four questions. Actually, it's for the judging criteria. Your four questions will fall under, tell me your feasibility and commercial viability of your solution, how you adopt, uh, apply INT solutions into it, how your solution impact on the society, as well as the relevance and uniqueness of your solution, of your creativity. And I just mentioned about the most variable part is on the on this column. You will, we will have received after after receiving this cash prize, okay, after receiving all these benefits, we will also arrange a dedicated fund for you to do your prototype. And then to also to arrange the pilot trials for you and the adoption opportunity for you. And you also uh, will have the mentor, you know, to guide you through the whole process. And ultimately, we hope that your solutions can be long-term adopted into the public sector as well as the community. So that means your creativity, your solutions can really help, really help people, help Hong Kong citizens to steer Hong Kong forward together. So, it's your action now. Be an innovator. I believe that every one of you can be an innovator. I have a huge QR code here, so let me 
invite all of you to you know take out your device or your iPad, your iPhone, scan it first, and then you can take it. Of course, because these are understanding this afternoon, you have to do your project. So this is a very good opportunity, you know, for your project starting. Scan the QR code here. Take a look. Register first, okay? After registration, you can still take some time to answer those four questions before you submit before June the 30th. And has to take no more, really, has to take no more. Why not use your creativity, your innovativeness to give it a try and help Hong Kong and then we can all be innovators. Thank you very much.